Right now, this suspected serial groper is behind bars. Police say this 20-year-old attacked three different women before being shot by Eustace police. And officers say his own mother turned him in. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay is in Eustace tonight with more. As you can see, police are still here on the scene. It's been several hours now. We've actually yet to see them go inside of the home. It's possible they're still waiting on some paperwork. The police captain told us they have multiple locations to carry out search warrants. It blows my mind. To be honest, we have kids that run around and play in the neighborhood. I mean, all the kids are running around, so it makes it very uncomfortable, actually, and thinking you live in a small, sweet town and something like this. It's kind of scary. Eustace police believe the two month search for what they call a serial groper has ended in the arrest of 20 year old Jefferson Seguin. And Eustace residents are glad. I hope they enjoy jail because that's where they belong. Seguin's run from the law ended with a phone call to police from his own mother. The mother wanted to speak. We showed up to the house and he ran out the back door. They were able to catch him on charges related to violently forcing himself on women and nearly hitting an officer with a car. Body camera footage shows the moment an officer fired his weapon. Good. Yeah, I'm good, he almost hit me. The last time they tried to arrest him. Arresting him this early in his career, his criminal career, uh, is certainly the best case for everybody. Tuesday night's alleged attack was one of three. Each of them less than a mile and a half from a home where police are searching. Neighbors looked on curiously as officers gathered in the front yard. An unusual sight for a normally quiet place. It's a decent neighborhood and looks nice. And a lot of women that don't even live in the community walk their dogs alone. Police believe Seguin stalked his victims before the attacks. It makes it very uncomfortable, actually, and thinking you live in a small, sweet town and something like this. It's kind of scary. Up until today, it was unclear if the suspect was hit by the shots fired Tuesday night. When he was arrested earlier today, he had a bullet wound on his shoulder. So in theory, he could have been hiding away for days with a very serious injury. We're still waiting on a status update for his health. Reporting in Eustis, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News.